We asked people on Twitter to sort of give us some of their questions, and I picked out the cool. best ones to sort of ask you to see if you, what your response is to these. Yeah. Okay, so at Jocelyn Offguard, always weird um, naming, uh, actually reading Twitter names, but jo at Jocelyn <laughs> Offguard asked, do you feel that playing several completely different roles has benefited you personally? And I guess but what they mean by that is, has it stretched your personality? Has it changed your idea of what identity is about? playing all these kinds of roles? Yeah, for sure. I think I'm just, you know, less, the, the identity is kind of fluid, and that's sort of what I've taken away from it. And, uh, and definitely as an actor, it's stretched me in terms of, you know, what I'm, what I'm willing to try to do um, and, and sort of change the idea of what my limits were as an actor. Okay, we'll accept that answer. It's a good one. We'll accept it. Uh, what was the first character you portrayed as a professional actor? And I'd like to know the also... The first character. The first one oh, you yeah. played as, a, as, a, as an amateur actor, too. Okay, the first part as an amateur actor was like Orphan number 68 in Oliver. Interesting. So you've gone from Always Orphan orphans. In, in Oliver yeah. to Orphan Black. Yes. Hmm. Uh, they're my, I'm typecast. <laughs> and then um, the first professional role was at the, the age of nine, and I played uh, a young rebel girl who, no, she was like a goody two-shoes who became a rebel um, and like danced crazily in the principal's office. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that's her character. That's what she was. Hmm. Yeah. That's, that's a good way to start. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. At Jenny Ferlin asked, what is something you know now that you wish you knew when you first started acting? Um, to let go of all the homework. So I, I tend to take a lot of notes and love writing and love kind of heady work. And so um, that would sometimes bog me down as an actor and make me pretty clinical about how I was going about things. And so I've, I've seen a lot of amazing actors recently who are just so instinctive. And, and that's, that's, to me, that is more true and more uh, real. Yeah, I'm liking your answers. I'm going to keep on going. <laughs> so if you could create a new clone for the show, this is from at X Queen Trorax. If you could create a new clone for the show, <laughs> what personality would it have? So I know you don't write the show, but you must have some thoughts about maybe they can maybe one this. that's always sleeping, uh -huh. like just gets to lay down in every scene, is like <laughs> fed grapes or something, something really passive, <laughs> so I can take a take a break. And what would we name this clone? Jennifer. Jen no, we already had a Jennifer. Oh, okay. She died. Don't bring it up. <laughs> um, De uh, David. <laughs> David, okay, David. David. Okay, and the last one, at Delphine <laughs> Cormier. Cormier. Cormier, okay. Yeah. Is it easy to switch between clones when filming, or is it more of a gradual fade into a new clone? That's a good question. I mean, yeah. can you go back and forth and toggle between clones, or do no. you have to like go back to your trailer and hang out and come back out and play another clone? I wish I had the luxury of going back to my trailer and chilling, but um, it's kind of like the hour and a half that I have in hair makeup where they take off the old face and put on the new one. So um, it's, it's quick, but it's definitely not toggling between. I couldn't do that.